When we went to go visit our goats up in Washington State after evacuating them because of the wildfires, we had a very nice wide-ranging conversation with Ashley and I just had too much material to fit it all into one video. So this is part two, which is mostly our conversation about goats and all kinds of different animals. I hope you like it. So I really like her. I keep telling my husband, just don't be surprised. If we get there a will Nubian. Be a Nubian on this place, whether it's a standard size or a, uh, a mini. So just uh, be prepared. Yeah. She's well, so much fun. If we ever uh, are successful breeding yeah, indigo I here. Say, are you guys awesome? Yeah. Yeah. I That's would really awesome. like to. I would definitely keep me posted on that. Yeah, I would love. Yeah, that's love, that's love. the idea, anyways, because she comes from really good milk. I was gonna lines. say she's really she has a great confirmation. Yes, and everything. yes. The only problem with her is her back end slopes yeah. too much, I guess. But but that's easily. I mean, yeah. I saw your your guys's pedigree. They're I mean, really good. It'll be really fun to see yeah. how they grow up. Yeah, I'd like, really um, like to see Striker. Now, which one? Striker's the farthest. The farther yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. he's. He's just a little more mellow than he he is. He's, he's funny because yeah. you know, as they get older, then it is kind of nice when they're a little bit more like lightning, mm -hmm. um, just because of the fact that when they're not all over you, like my two mm -hmm. boys, they are horrible, um, super friendly, almost a little too friendly. Yeah. Uh, if I, mm. I just it just you know kind of yeah. give me some space here, but yeah, it's <laughs> great. And you're right, the personality is is kind of important. Striker will jump up on your lap if you're sitting in a chair. Yeah, and, and lick your face like he's a dog. That is so much fun. Yeah, I just wish he was a little bit more interested in the girls. The light, lightning bug is, is very Yeah, he's interested. been very interested in the girls. And, you know, I, like I said, my poor girl, she was teasing him so bad. I felt so bad for him that I had to lock her up separately. Um, but, you know, it's funny because some of the boys will choose only certain girls that they want to be around, I've noticed. And ignore others, whether they're in screaming heat or not. Mm. It's the weirdest mm. thing. They yeah. have they have preferences too. So I wonder as he gets older if that'll be something. Maybe hi Mike. He doesn't feel like he has any competition and needs to act that way. Who knows? What are you doing? Huh? You got a stinker. Mm. He's done really well too. He comes out here and lays with them still. They're getting used to him. Mm -hmm. It's only been what a couple days, and he's been <laughs> he's getting them used to him for sure. <laughs> Yeah, she's, I mean, she really has been like this since we've had her. She hasn't really screamed, or if she hears me really making some noise around dinner time, she will. But that's yeah. normal. Yeah. You know. I know, you're just a stinker pants. Hold on. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, I'm just so happy to hear about your guys' house. Yeah. I hope it just keeps, you know, on Tuesday, you're supposed to, mm -hmm. wait, that's not tomorrow. Um, a couple more days and hopefully we'll have the rain that we're looking yeah. for. And yeah. I mean, it already feels colder here. Yeah. In so. the morning in Oregon City, it was... Nasty. There was a lot of fog. Yeah. And a lot of moist yeah. air. Yeah. Here too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm just so happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, you're a good baby, aren't you? He is a sweet guy. Are. <laughs> have you been following along with our channel at all 
I have been. So I followed. Yeah. I haven't seen your newest one yet. I saw that it popped up today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I haven't got to watch it yet. So I will tonight. We just, we got our bed set up. So we've been sleeping on the couch for, well, we've been sleeping in the dining room for about oh, no. 10 months now. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding you. And now we, we took that mattress and, and had somebody pick it up. And so now we're sleeping on the couch for the last <clears throat> week. And um, so we have the bed made. So now I'll get to relax and just watch yeah I, I plan on watching it tonight mm -hmm. when we get inside the bed tonight well you have a little cameo in it oh do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh man well that'll be fun to watch well we'll have to see <laughs> Thank you. oh man i'm just i'm just so happy i mean i know we've only met a couple times but i'm just so so glad that you guys are yeah, good people yeah. it's good to fun go, go yeah. community right yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind yeah. of how it works yeah it's crazy how you know we can help each other out and... mm -hmm. that's good very good that you is, are just a stinker that is a friendly kitty yes he, he wants to go home with you guys <laughs> in fact i we lost one i don't know where the heck he went and we had they grew up together they weren't brothers so we lost one and i put a facebook you know post out and just said hey um love a cat <laughs> has to be friendly would love a you know or barn kitten what do you guys got and one of my friends has a barn cat that um she got pregnant so they're spaying her and then we'll come and get her here in like 10 days so i mean it and i'll let you guys know how that goes we'll yeah. see but you know i've been with the cat coalition in portland and we like them but yeah the kittens are so much fun especially if you get two or three at a time and they grow up together mm -hmm. i that's what we normally do but you know i only got two hey. and now he's so lonely. He just he comes and he'll hang out with us in the field now. And now will just... will a cat like that that you raise from a kitten? Yeah, they're wonderful. Will they will they actually chase and catch mice? Oh, of course. So he gets so many moles, it's crazy. So that's what we need. We've yes. got a lot of moles. <laughs> and so the cats will. I mean, he gets free choice feed. Um, it's always out for him. And then of course you know water and whatnot. But and he sleeps in the hay, or sometimes he'll sleep on the back porch, wherever. But he, they're great hunters. They're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, constantly, they got birds. They've got, like I said, moles and then um, some mice too. So he, he keeps it down between our personal bait stations and the cats. We just don't have an issue in the barn, which yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't mind if they chased away the squirrels too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We, we have a very few squirrels here, but there are, are a couple. And um, they used to get really close to the barn and not anymore. Yeah. And that's they how I like it. They get into our feed bins and everything. That's annoying. I mean, they'll pop the lids off. Yeah. It's, it's really not frustrating. Funny. It's horrible. See, and then the chickens, they're good around our chickens. So the chickens will, you know, they don't run from them anymore. They've gotten used to them. And, yeah. Because um, we brought in a couple mm. uh, after we got the cats. And everything just kind of coexists really, really peacefully right now. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, right. hopefully it just continues to do so. Um, but you know, it's one of those where you just, you just never really know. And he's not a threat. Our other one wasn't a threat and it took our girls a really long time to get used to him, so but he's, he just thinks he belongs anywhere and everywhere. Like mm -hmm. we had that kidding yesterday. Right. He was just hanging out watching, mm -hmm. just kind of there. Yeah. So he's, cool. yeah, they're great cats. I love them. Oh, so I always recommend getting him as kittens, but like I said, you know, he, he can't have a kitten as a, a buddy. So I'm hoping that they'll, they'll just kind of get used to each other and, and I'll, I'll put her in a cage for a while that they can sniff and hang out. Cause I don't want her running out either. Um, so hopefully, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. So pretty well. Try it out. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, like... I hate the cat poop. I'll tell you what. I hate the cat poop, but, um, sorry, one of my girls is acting weird. Um, but she, what are you doing, Coco? She's kind of screaming and she's acting like her hind end is going down. Nope, she's good. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, uh, the, the cat, yeah, so we'll just see how the cats go. But you can tell that's our little play area. I fill up a little bit of water there, and then the boys play on the excavators, and I sit there and watch them. But you are just so silly. What are you doing? My goodness. She likes to itch her mouth. She, she does that at home, too, with stuff. That is so funny. It's almost like, um, does she do it when she gets bored or just constantly all, all the no, time? No, just every once in a yeah. while. Huh. 
Yeah, she's really sweet. I've been having a lot of fun with her. A lot of personality in that goat. Mm -hmm. She does. And I mean, in the way she moves, <laughs> it's so long and what uh -huh. we're talking about. She's lopey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a giraffe. You yeah. know how they're just kind of yeah. like exaggerated and they're just really fun. I've got so, to pay attention to this cat you have here. It's really funny. And he'll like zoom around and he'll come and he'll get your leg a couple times mm -hmm. and then run around some more. He's and, well. I'm glad you guys got to stop by. This yeah. was great. It was a good day for it. Yeah. Not too yeah. crazy. And I mean, it is smoky, but. Traffic's good. Yeah. yeah. I needed That's some goat time. Yeah, and like, it seemed like after good. everything was right. okay back down yesterday. And then this morning I was like, I'm really feeling anxious now. This is so weird. Well, it's you just had a huge fight or flight experience. I didn't know what I was going to happen. I need something to calm and down. And I'm like, can no, I go see my goat, that, please? Whenever I get stressed or anything, this is where I come to yeah. the barn. Yeah. That's, I get it. You yeah. want to be around the animals. Even if they're not like touching you or doing whatever, just being around them and hearing yeah. them and stuff, it's great. We were just talking about it. Being out at our place, it's so quiet. It's weird. And not having the animals to take care of, it's... It feels a little empty. Right. Yeah. yeah it's like, yeah. like it would cause a lot of the, My yeah. routine right. is all off. I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like, and we're creatures of habit. Oh yeah. my gosh, we are so creatures. <laughs> I would, yeah. It, that would be really hard to go from having the animals here and, and then not. And I'm just, you know, I'm just glad yeah. that um, yeah, they're here and they're safe. And you guys will probably <laughs> be able to come and get them here sooner. And. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're, You're such a, a little bit of an embarrassment in the goat. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Silly girl. Does that feel good on your lips or something? What is it? Because <laughs> I want out. What are you guys talking about? She will too. She'll follow me around. And, okay. Because normally we'll have the gate closed. and We'll go to the barn and then I'll go do something. And she just, yeah. she's just great. Yeah. We put the GoPro thing on her. And I haven't watched that one yet. I did see it's it. It's really I did see funny. It. You because, bought the GoPro. Because Bri I made Brian hold her with the leash, and then I just ran. And she followed me yes. all over the place. Funny. <laughs> Good news. You big silly goose with your ears flapping. Yes, those ears. <laughs> so silly. Yeah. They've settled in really nice. Yeah. And I I've can been tell. watching, like you said, the boys, you know, you have to watch for them a little bit with their, their uh, stool. Yeah. And they've not, they've been completely yeah, fine. Yeah, I can tell mm -hmm. Lightning's totally fine yeah. because he would get it in his tail. Yeah, if he had yeah, any and in. I've been watching. Yep. So every morning, every night, you know, I watch, and every every now and then when the kids take their nap all together, I'll come down and just kind of scan everybody. And um, they've, there's been yeah, no concerns so far. So it's been great. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, like I said, you know, the mornings all kind of, she, <laughs> little turd, won't just stand there really quick and I express her just a little bit. She'll, uh, she won't let me do it, but on the stand, she's just fine. So, um, I do that, you know, <laughs> every morning so far and she's just done great. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you saw the, the, you did yeah, see the video of us was, first milking yes. her. She yeah. was so bad. A little wild there. And that's yes. what she kind of does when I, when I, she's not in the stand yeah but as soon as she's in the stand she's just fine yeah then she just stands next to you. oh well i was also very glad to see your baby goats because that's that's yeah. pretty sweet well i'm glad i'm glad it was perfect timing because feeding time was just up and nice. they're pretty easy keepers or you know easy on the bottle so far even though this is they're now they're now 24 hours old, yeah. Just just a lot of like work. <laughs> yeah, yesterday It's pretty five. good that they're feeding now. Yeah, wow. yeah. They're, they're doing great. And they're just starting to play and be silly. Mm -hmm. and so the smaller one I do have to watch with Mama. Um, he's having a harder time. But the bottle babies are yeah. strong, ready to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so give them out to somebody who wants to have some great, really well-attached pets <laughs> um, that I don't have to take care of. And then this little guy, he'll be... I'll just keep him until he's about, you know, eight weeks, ten week, ten weeks old, and, and then I'll sell him as a pet. So yeah, yeah, good first time mama though, so I'm really happy with that. That's good. Yeah, can't That's ask good. for anything better, and the birth yeah. was great. Yeah, she did really good for a first time. Yeah, and it's nice that it's 
three then for the first three time. for the first time i you yeah. know she was big but you know how sometimes they get big and you're like yeah there's gonna have there? like four of them in there and there's only one you know one bigger one <laughs> yeah. i'm not gonna be but, able to tell it all with rogue yeah because no it's gonna no. be like and that's just said, look chubby audrey what was she was she she had i think kokio had like four was she a birth of four i think no three um, but she, you know, her, her animals are definitely wide in the hips. Yeah. So mm. they always deliver and they mm. carry really well, which is really yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can see it with her build already that she's not going to have a problem getting any kid stuck or not <laughs> through there. So that'll be really nice. So, that'll be really nice. Yeah. So can you tell just from your experience with, uh, behavior or, um, physical characteristics, whether any of our goats have actually been bred or possibly or is there um, any way to know i no. for me i i haven't watched yet yeah. and i don't know when they were covered so for my animals normally i can you can kind of get a feel they get a little off um and i can put it to my experience like when i was when found out i was pregnant each child that i had so by my third one i knew earlier and earlier and earlier because you just you're just off you just don't feel right so once I get to know each of my animals you kind of have an idea but I always blood test you know yeah. if I'm really like that this thing has to be pregnant I want her pregnant for next year <laughs> then I'm blood testing them but yeah I mean there's some of them you just yeah you just know but I mean like these new ones coming in I, I'll have coming in here soon you know it'll take me a whole season to get to know them and you know like last year I had a older girl that I brought in and bred and she uh, was in labor and I just didn't, she's kind of dramatic. She's a loud, dramatic goat. So I didn't know really what her, like help me, I'm in, or I'm just kind of whining or it's really intense or something's wrong. Mm -hmm. I didn't know and I made the mistake of waiting too long and I almost lost her. So it's one of those where I'm gonna try and get them as early as possible um, to, yeah. to get to know their personalities because yeah, I mean, you, mm. you'll, you'll kind of know just off of that. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know them very well. But um, Valkyrie, I think, was kind of teasing the boys. I think she's in heat yeah, now. Yeah, I think she's in heat. Mm -hmm. I, and I think she maybe got a little bit of something at the yeah. gas station. That's like what I you were saying. About, but yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, you know, she's so f silly. I mean, she's a little more sensitive. Because I've had her in now. there when I was pretty sure she was in heat. Yeah. And she doesn't the get boys, loud. The boys were on her, and but then you know she's she's just a little bit like it spooks her. It does. So that's yeah. that's what our girls do. Between if they're on the opposite side of the fence, mm -hmm. oh they'll tease, yeah. rub up on yeah. there, and as soon as you let the boy in there with them, they're like, ah, yeah. you know, where's mom? <laughs> so I normally stay in there, and yeah. lately with there's been a couple, especially my first timers. Um, I'll just hold them. Yeah, okay. Hold them, and there we go. Because the boys are ready, and they've yeah. been teasing them, so. I just hold them and then they're done. They're, and once they kind of really get that first initial time, they're like, yeah. okay, with another. Yeah. But yeah, I um, I like to know as close to my exact dates as possible. So I've started that for this next breeding season. I've been holding them and it's mm -hmm. actually gone, wasn't as weird as I thought it was gonna be, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I thought I was gonna feel kind of odd about it, but <laughs> after the first one was done, I'm like, oh, this is so easy. Yeah, this isn't this a big is deal. Fine. Why did I not do it last year? And yeah, so it's been a huge game changer. So I know the exact dates that I should be watching That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. a huge relief off because the first year I did it, it was all just, oh, I think this yeah. one's first and I think this one's second. And now, you know, I knew, you know, and ligament checking too. But I mean, you you know yeah. when to start really, yeah. really watching them. And yeah. that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I put mm -hmm. Rogue in first. And so she was are in they for a cycling, while. Are they getting kind of cycling together yet? Not really. Not really. Okay. Not really. But I don't think... The boys were quite ready when yeah. I put him, yeah. her in. So. That one, that black and white one, uh, lightning, right? Yeah. Um, he's ready now. Yeah. <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, I like him. He's, yeah. I mean, I like both of them, but yeah, they are. Yeah, uh, he's definitely cool. the one that I'm like, this is a good Go. See, and I love, yeah. I love black and white, yeah. too, and I, I just, they're, yeah, they're pretty darn cool. Our yeah. blue one over there, he's black and white, man. I just love it. 
Yeah. So. Yeah. I'd really like to see him with Valkyrie. That, mm-hmm. that's, that would be a pretty man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's got a little bit more stockiness, mm-hmm. so I think that would help. Oh yeah. And they both have really nice strong shoulders too. Mm-hmm. It's really, yep. I've been checking yep. them out. Um, uh, she has some really cool goats that I don't know, what or not goats, sheep that she milks. So um, I never knew she milked goats or sheep, dang it. So I want to go over there sometime and check them out. Mm. Never I mean, they can milk. Mm. Yeah, I've been curious about that too. Yeah. And she uses their wool. You don't even see stuff. anything on the internet about no. it other than Absolutely that you can. Yeah, I thought she just did them for their wool and everything, but no, they're milk go- or sheep. Dang it. <laughs> I know there's definitely sheep milk somewhere because yeah. you get it at and cheese. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, Wendy found the the perfect card for you. So. Oh, well, thank you guys. I'm. <laughs> He's like, oh my god! I didn't know if I should open it now or. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I'm never going to find anything with an Thank animal you. on it like that. Thank and I'm you like, guys oh, there's so one. I'm, I'm keeping this one. This will go in my uh, barn folder. Very cute. That is the perfect one. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm just, like I said, I wish I could do more. So I'm just, I'm just glad yeah, that we could do is, this for you guys. This is a lot. This is a lot for us. <laughs> this is, I, I would assume this would probably be a big stress off. Because I think, I've been watching the post, you know, evacuees and... I have to be very careful on how much I open the place because we don't have any more barn space. We yeah. just don't. And, yeah. you know, and I don't feel comfortable with the predators yeah. that we I have understand you about to that. Yeah. not have them covered at yeah. nighttime. Um, yeah. So that sucks. It's hard because I'm like, I have all this pasture and I, I don't even have any extra fencing or covering um, type of thing. Yeah. So that sucks, but I've been also watching that people have been walking into the fairgrounds and stealing animals, and I'm just, like, horrified. Yeah, How do I can't people believe. Do that? And all of this baloney that's going on, you're going to hit somebody that much harder and yeah. like, taking their animals. Yeah. So people yeah. are fleeing to the fairgrounds with their farm animals mm-hmm. to get out of the fire. Yeah, and to people them, and then other people are taking, are taking advantage the, of it. Taking advantage and stealing them. their animals. I just do not get it. It yeah. just makes me sick. So I'm really glad that I can offer my space here because I just, I don't, I don't know. I'd want somebody to do the same for me. So yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't get it. The humanity sometimes. It just, it's really sad. Yep. Yep. I know. I know. Ugh. Yeah, I I know. I just I still I still can't even get over. It. I mean, I saw it this morning. That's the first time I, that I that I saw a post like that. I'm just going, hi. Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Well, there were a few things that I think people were screwing with people on because I called people about trailers and stuff like yeah. that, and I got a lot of weird people. Well, and that's what I get nervous about is yeah. you know it's so we don't personally have a trailer, but my parents who are next door mm-hmm. have a four horse with living quarters, which they would use. And then they have a two horse um, slant, which is what I would use if there was ever something of the need. But I think um, this year we're gonna look into just having I am too. something, yep. you know? Cause it's, yep. I, I can fit them, I really can't. You know, we're, go, we're trying to figure out how we would maneuver them in this, like put panels over and it's going, mm-hmm. this is crazy. We just need to get a small trailer. Yeah. So they're yeah. not that expensive. Yeah. Um, and if we find need them to, on Craigslist. Yeah. Yeah, and you sometimes can. You, all you need to do is put a floor in on it. Right. It's like, oh, well, I just Not bought a trailer a for a little bit of money. Right. Put some wood I've on seen it. I've for and a couple hundred done. bucks. And exactly. you, they may be in a little rough shape. But yeah. That's okay. I don't need them perfect. Um, I just need them safe and mm-hmm. contain my animals. So, you know, they're yep. not anything heavy going in there. But, yep. Um, yep. I know that's my biggest thing is okay. Just, just, we're pretty safe here. I never expected the big hollow fire to get that close. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was really crazy for this area, but um, I don't know. I have no idea how the heck this even gets started half the time. Um, I just hope you know the rumors that aren't true and everything else. And there's every, there's a lot of really really bad rumors out there that yeah. just you can't me, can't trust that kind of stuff. And that's just it. It's like you know with the fairgrounds too. It's like why would people do that? Yeah. Well, they did it, but 
what I can't yeah. imagine somebody what, doing that on purpose. What, Maybe it, on accident. Yeah, why would somebody be so maliciously? Yeah. You might might hope that somebody said, Oh, go pick up my goat for me and they grabbed the wrong one. I don't know. No, there's there's people intentionally grabbing animals. Horses. Also horses especially um, yeah mm. yeah because they're worth so much oh, yeah. yeah they yeah. were grabbing some mares and everything it's like well i guess but i don't know that's a lot of effort <laughs> so yeah like i said i'm really really glad that i can house these guys for you and like i said until you feel the threat's completely gone mm. don't worry about picking them up they're, they're safe here um we don't mind having them here at all oh, super them. easy keepers <laughs> You're just so funny. She is. She wants attention so bad. But if I move too quick, just kidding. Yep. Don't yep. don't want you to pet me. Yep. Yep. It's almost like she just wants you to talk to her. Sometimes. Yeah. Wants to be included, not necessarily yeah. touched. Yeah. Well, sweetie pie. She sure is pretty though. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she looks really good. Except for that boo boo on her nose where she's it's too much. You do. You look really good. <laughs> That'll be a fun breeding. Mm -hmm. So you guys trying to breed for this year then, for, for next year? Yeah, it? yeah. And then did you, I mean, do you want her still in milk or no? It's fine if she is. Okay. I wasn't sure if I'm, yeah. if I'm, because I don't want to over, you know, over stimulate her and get her going, but I didn't know if you wanted her still in milk and yeah. this was just something convenient you. Wendy well, was a little disappointed that she might not be in milk. So it's. Yeah, I go you back. Know. Going. You can keep it going. I mean, if you that's want not to, hard for me to do. I just, I didn't know and I yeah. forgot to ask you. And I'm like, well, maybe because you had said you were starting to try and kind yeah. of wean her off. Yeah. So I figured, well, maybe yeah. I, I just, I'll just very, you know, just ease her out because sometimes it looks like she's in a little pain. But, um, you know, she's normally like this then during the day and in yeah. the morning she's tight. In the morning is when... So I didn't know if you wanted me to milk her out to keep stimulating it or if you just wanted me to just barely milk her out to relieve her if so she, her body stops making Whatever more. is easiest for you is fine because, okay. you know, but you'll, I'm, my plan is, is that I'm was getting too tired to do okay. it twice a day okay. like I had been. So once a day would and be fine. And she seemed to adapt right away yeah. to doing it once a day. Yeah. And so I yeah, started doing it once not, a day. Yeah. It seemed like I have to yeah. do anything with her. Yeah. Which I kind of suspected because she always gives a lot in the morning and just a little in the evening. Okay. So I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, then. Well, then I'll just, I'll just make her comfortable. And that, you know, if it, if it looks like I need to go a little bit more, then I'll go more. But, I mean, it doesn't look like she's trying that crazy at all. So. No. Yeah. yeah. She looks good. Yeah, she sure is a lot more fun to milk than those. I'm not kidding you, the one that just kitted. She's like, little tiny. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm milking a kitten or something. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. heck? The I hardest thing with doing? her is that she can get so tight that it's hard. Yeah. But. Yeah, she's done really, I mean, so far, she, she hasn't even gotten like that for me. Yeah. I'm not, I'm trying not to feed her any grain or anything. Yeah. Just to get her to go one place to another. <laughs> little stinker. And we're not feeding, you know, really rich um, hay right now. We don't do that till the winter time, so. Um, yeah, not much. Yeah, just from the time reduce. we've been out here, I, it seems like they're doing more grazing than mm -hmm. than they do at our place. So yeah, they're yeah they they definitely um, they've been doing the hay, and then when I'm when I let them out, they'll hit this area and then go back into the barn, I'll kind of make this weird little loop. <laughs> uh, that's totally not intentional for me, but um, yeah, and they pick at the grass here and there, and then. They're good to go, but all of our goats, this is the driest our grass has been too, but all of the goats love the grass, but there's not really much out there right now that's yeah. good. Yeah, and I think that's part of the reason why they're not doing it at our house is I had planted some mm -hmm. and it had started to grow up, but then it got so dry yeah. that it's just... Ugh. I know, the arena, we're covering it now because yeah. I put the chickens halfway in it, and so probably by the end of this month with the rain coming... Um, and just normally how hard it rains, you know, at the end of September, I'll start uh, throwing some grass seed on it and just, I'm tired of having a dusty arena. It's really dusty here mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. so yeah, it'll be nice to cut that down. Yeah. But, yeah, they're great good. though. My little snuggle bugs. <laughs> yeah. Um, Valkyrie loves to snuggle up next to one of the goats. Oh, I, I think I took a good picture. I don't think um, I deleted it. But at nighttime, they were all snuggled up together. It was the cutest thing. I'll look on my phone and I'll send it to you if I kept it. It was really cute. And, and uh, so I was checking 
our goat because I have her on camera but if she goes in this one area I can't see her very well so I'd come down you know a couple of times during the night and mm. Indigo would always get up and nuzzle me and hi how's it going mm -hmm. and the other girls were just fine laying there and yeah. then she'd go and snuggle back on him and she did she's really nice really nice gentle goat yeah we're looking she's forward to having a, a bigger permanent shelter for them yeah, yeah. so yeah, they, they have no choice but to snuggle up in that little yeah. tiny spot we've got for them now Nice uh, close herd is not a bad thing. No, they're they're good goats. <laughs> I miss them. I, I know. I keep thinking about you guys. Hopefully, it'll just it'll, yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm glad it's pulling back as quickly as it is. Yeah. I was like, well, and long, then how long is this gonna take? I don't know. Just don't feel in a rush. They're safe here. They're yeah. happy here, and I just keep thinking positive uh, thoughts that. You know, all the levels go down to one or just gone, however that works. Zero, does it go to zero? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you guys can just kind of get back to, you know, I don't want to say normal life because I think, I don't know if it will go quite feel back to normal, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it'll go back to your routine. Yeah. And, my gosh. Yeah. And all your chickens and, or you have, yeah, you have chickens. We have lots of chickens and then we have right, our right. one turkey that... <laughs> <laughs> the little survivor. He's, she's really missing her goat. Is it a pet? Or you know, the turkey. The turkey is the one of the most dinner, curious. Walk up and see I've what's going like on. Yeah, cool. they're awesome. <laughs> I love this turkey. It's especially since it it was getting picked on by the chickens okay. because it wasn't at all like protecting itself. <laughs> And so we were like, where can we put it? Well, let's put try it putting it in with the goats. And it just snuggles in the with goats the goats. The goats are really accepting, I feel yeah. like. Really accepting animals. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but it's the funniest thing watching them And it them stays snuggle. with the goats it the does. whole time? It follows them around and sits where they sit. So if, like, let's just say I were to get turkeys, would they, could they be in, like, the chicken area? Or would it be, like, they need to be in a separate area? Our experience is they do better with the goats than with okay. the chickens. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing is, is if your goats are lactating like this, the turkey poop is pretty nasty. Oh, I just so, know that. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So, that's how I, I feel about the chickens to too, though. So, I always sure drive really wash the yeah. area very yeah. well because of that. that because it's sense. just, it just grosses me out. I, that's the one thing. Like, I love my chickens. I, I have, I call them and they come running for me and I give mm -hmm. them snuggles. Chicken poop grosses it's me out. It's awful. Yeah. Do not want it and in the barn. And turkey poop is like, so it's, is like it's like chicken poop. In, but way bigger, I'm In sure. a bigger squat. Yeah. yeah. I just, mm -mm. yeah. Yeah. And it's like the difference between little goat poop and, and big indigo goat poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I love the chickens, but if, if I had to choose between, the chickens would be the first to go. Yeah. I, I definitely yeah. do not. Yeah. I don't like it when they get out and when they come on. Say hi yeah. in the back porch and poop on it. Yeah, mm. we're getting quail now too. Oh, cool! We've we have got, to got little how that goes. little peanuts right yeah. now. Oh, They're at his dad's cool. house. That's very cool. See, yeah. and I have some some eggs that I had shipped over from uh, Tennessee. Yeah, those I am Samani eggs. Those are really cool. So I have like sixteen of them in the incubator, and they all look pretty good. They have about ten more days to go. That's so fun. I love incubating See, stuff. See, I do too. I feel like this, like, oh, and I always candle. I always candle yeah, too much because they I look do so too. neat. Yeah. But they're, they're getting close and almost, I think one might be bad, but out of the 16, which, you know, was shipped over, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 yeah that's so, really good. And it'll be exciting to see how, how they all look, but I'm hoping for a really nice rooster because I have a couple of really nice girls already from, from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that I shipped over as chickens or chicks, so um, oh my! <laughs> I'm hoping for at least one nice rooster and a couple of nice, a couple more nice hens. So we'll see. I feel like a crazy person. I never got this into you know breeding or anything, and now it's just fun. It is fun. It is fun. I'm really wanting to get Polish chickens. Those are cute. Because yeah, the poofies. little foofies. <laughs> we have one little bantam rooster, and I'm. Now, do the bantams, they have the fluff on the legs, right? Or um, some They're bantams. just small. Okay. They're small. Okay. So, yeah. But I have other chickens that have the... How do they do in the weather? With the mud or the rain or... Because I don't have, like, We didn't have any until after we had our okay. covered 
chicken run thing. Okay. See, and I don't have a covered chicken yeah. run yet. Yeah. I just have the house, and then you know, they can come in. Yeah. And, so that's yeah. my issue where I'm like, we, I just don't feel like I can have this Our yet. spot was just so muddy yeah. that it was, it was unbelievable. It was turning into a swimming pool. See, and that's what I yeah. get nervous of too. Yeah. It's, so, I mean, really, we've been really lucky and our animals aren't too hard on the ground. Um, but, you know, like my parents' horses and stuff, oh, it just gets so muddy, so bad. Yeah. So quickly. And the chickens, I, I've only had them for a year and a half. So we went through one season, but it they were still really young and it does that, yeah. I mean, that kind of thing so I'm wondering how it's gonna go this year with the traffic but yeah hopefully it won't be too bad yeah I think if they're out a little more that they tend to not stick in one spot and scratch it up and that's what we have a big, yeah. Have a big yeah. yeah a lot yeah. bigger than I thought I was gonna have for them but I just I really just don't want it to turn into a poopy muddy mess because mm -hmm. I just and then I, I know my husband will be like, okay, they got, they got to go. So yeah. I'm trying to make it as nice and clean and <laughs> not smelly. Because, I mean, they really don't smell if I change them all the time yeah. and make sure that the mud doesn't get yeah. bad. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I want to keep it that way. So Yeah. Since we put our cover on, the it's smell no problem. just disappeared again. Yeah. So it's just, like, that's cool. it's the rain. Easily maintain the, I mean, mm -hmm. as long as you have, like, the cover and everything. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's really exciting to hear. So that'll hopefully be the next step. Oh, sweetie pie. <laughs> well, so very yeah. cool. I'm going to go and make sure that the kiddos are doing good. But...